Horses are coming onto the track at DuCoin for race six. This is the Wendy Skeeter for Illinois bred three-year-old trotting fillies for a purse of $35,000. The winner takes home half. Win play show exact to trifecta. Scratch the four. Fox Valley birdie is sick. Jimmy Tactor drives the 10 Cheyenne. And don't forget that Cheyenne will line up in the second tier behind the starting gate. Post time in five minutes on this trifecta race. Let's meet the starters for the Wendy Skeeter. Number one is Uncommon Sense, owned by Daniel Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, trained by Irvin Miller. Andy Miller is in the bike. Number 1A will be coupled in the wagering M.A. Princess, who is owned by Hyla Dwarick of Lovington, trained by Irv Miller, the driver Tim Tietrick. Number two, Pegasaurus, owned by Jerry and Helen Logan of Coffeyville, Kansas, trained by Jerry Logan, the driver, Tom Simmons. Number three, Tribulation Force, owned by David Jenks of Winona Lake, Indiana, trained by Joel Smith, the driver, Dale Heitman. Number four, Fox Valley Birdie is scratched. The five, Gum Corner Special, is owned by Don Marinholtz of Chicago, by Ruth and Delbert Burkett of Ellery, trained by Delbert Burkett, the driver, Connell Willis. Number six, Fox Rocks, owned by Robert and Michael Silberberg of Farmington Hills, Michigan, by Fowlerville, Michigan native Jim Eaton, now of Crete, Illinois, Mr. Eaton, the trainer, and Ron Marsh, the driver. Number seven, Stay and Fight, owned by Let It Ride Stables Incorporated of owner Eric Cherry of Delray Beach, Florida, co-owned by Leo and Francis Grumble's Chili Day Stables of Carrollton, Illinois, trained by Leo Grumble, and Eric Ledford is in the bike. Number eight, Mystical Brook, owned by Dennis and Kevin Lacombe's Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, Dirk Simpson of Springfield, and Dr. Tom Pollard of Danville, trained by Dirk Simpson, the driver, Dave McGee. Nine is Red-Headed Co-Ed, owned by Barbara and Gail Austin of Morrison, by Mark Franzen of Big Rock, Illinois, trained by Mark Franzen, the driver, Tony Morgan. And number 10, Cheyenne, is owned by Sam and Ellen Lilly's Lilly Racing Stable of Downers Grove, by Monique Bernardi of Beecher, trained by Leon Smith, the driver, Jimmy Tactor, Post time, in less than three minutes, the track is fast. The fastest Illinois-bred female trotter ever in 152-4 and four at the State Fair at Springfield two weeks ago. She scores from post position five. The Wendy Skeeter, named after the first Illinois-bred trotting female ever to win $100,000. She won races right here at DuCoin, raced originally for Elmer Knockmoose and then for the Hayes Fair Acre Stable of DuCoin. And here they come, Tribulation Force off stride. They are off and trotting. There goes Mystical Brook firing out for the early lead as they enter the first turn. And Uncommon Sense is going to get away toward the center of the pack as she now settles against the rail as they race toward the quarter. Stay and fight just made a break as they race toward the quarter mile mark. Problems for Mystical Brook, who's just gone off stride. Pegasaurus is the leader, but here comes Redheaded Coed, and Redheaded Coed is up to get the lead. Pegasaurus goes second. Gum Corner Special is racing in the third position, and then Cheyenne against the rail fourth. Opening quarter went to 27 and 3. A gap of two and a half more lengths back to Uncommon Sense. At this point, she is racing in fifth, and she's seven lengths off the leader followed by Fox Rocks, and then M.A. Princess on the outside, Mystical Brook, and a gap of over 20 more lengths back to Tribulation Force and Stay and Fight, who is last. Halfway home in the Windy Skeeter and Red-Headed Co-Ed is the leader by a length. Pegasaur second by two and a half lengths. Gum Corner Special is racing in third. There goes Cheyenne, moving up now to take third off a half in 55 and four. And Uncommon Sense comes off the rail from fifth, still with five lengths to make up on the leader midway on the far turn. Red-headed Coed leads it by a length. Pegasaurus is second, flanked by Cheyenne. Uncommon Sense is fourth on the outside, but with cover, two and a half lengths off the lead. M.A. Princess is moving up behind her around Gum Corner Special as they race on by the three quarters in 124 and four. Cheyenne is up to challenge red-headed co-ed and Uncommon Sense is two lengths away in third and she's out in the center of the track. M.A. Princess behind her. Into the stretch, Cheyenne gets the lead but here comes Uncommon Sense right at her throat. Uncommon Sense just trots right on by and she's just cruising here. What class this filly has under no stress. She's opening up. Andy Miller looks over his shoulder and sees a widening five-length lead at the wire. 
Uncommon Sense wins at Cheyenne was home second. M.A. Princess was third. And Redheaded Coed was fourth. And 153 and one. Folks, this filly has just knocked two full seconds off the stakes record for the Windy Skeeter. How about a hand for Uncommon Sense? Andy Miller with the winning drive. DeCoin State Fair manager John Redenauer Jr. is going to present the Windy Skeeter trophy. Again, Windy Skeeter was a member of the Hayes Fair Acre stable who trained and also raced right here at DeCoin. Daniel Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, the owner. Reuben Miller bred this Valley Victor filly. She was a $14,000 yearling purchase, and Bob Waxman bought this filly for his son, Daniel, as a birthday present for his 21st birthday. Andy, winning driver, Andy Miller. Andy, I remember last year, you and Irv teamed up with Fox Valley Diva. She went a whale of a trip in 155-1, and won, but I also remember it seemed like she was all out. This filly didn't look all out today, did she? No, she was just uh, kind of coasting along. I never pulled the earplugs, just kind of letting her trot where she wanted to. I know that uh, a lot of people since the State Fair at Springfield have been asking about this filly and why she did not race as a two-year-old. Did Irv ever say much to you last year about why this filly didn't race? No. I was going to say, I, I, we always forget to ask Irv, and unfortunately, Irv didn't make it up. Andy, this filly, uh, you've driven a lot of top trotting fillies. She's obviously the fastest ever bred in Illinois. And I'd have to think she also ranks among the top list of horses you've driven, period. Would that be safe to say? Yeah, absolutely. A lot of class. Folks, how about a hand for our winning driver, Mr. Andy Miller, for the Windy Skeeter?